Hey guys, what's happening? Just sitting here doing a little editing, which is an outright lie. We all know I can't do that. I'm not good at that. So anyway, what I'm here to tell you is, just real quick, um, Evan and I kind of came up with a new segment for Wanna Go Fishing, and we're gonna call it Midweek Shorts. These are gonna be short videos that, uh, you know, really aren't, I don't wanna say worthy, but just can't handle an entire full-length video. So it's just cool little things, little things. It could be anything for me showing you how to put a lure on a hook to uh, a whatever. It's going to be a whatever kind of thing. But it's going to be called Midweek Shorts. And we're going to try to throw them in every now and again. Not every week. It's just going to be an every now and again thing. All of a sudden, bam, there it is. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. This will be the first official Midweek Shorts. So stay around. Hang out. Do whatever you want. I'm going to edit it. What's happening, everybody? It is cold, windy, and rainy. It is October 23rd. I'm out here today simply because it's a Sunday, and yesterday I spent all day, a nice sunny warm day, raking up acorns and leaves and washing old Mr. T up. I actually waxed him. You know, most of the paint's missing, so it made it really quick. I've been looking for something, and I always am. I'm looking for something to go behind the seat of Mr. T that I can keep back here without really being worried about breaking it or, you know, if it gets scratched or dinged or whatever. And what I mean by that is a fishing setup, a some kind of setup, something simple, you know, nothing that's going to be catching any monsters, but just something I can keep back here and not be worried about it. I went in Ollie's. I'm not sure if you guys have an Ollie's where you're at, but it's a bargain outlet kind of place, and they usually get stuff that doesn't sell elsewhere. I found what I consider the perfect setup to go behind the seat. Fits back there. I'm not worried about it. And it's probably going to do exactly what I want for those times when I, I don't know, ride up on a lake or pond or river or something. And I just want to cast a little bit and catch some fish. Try to catch some fish. This fits perfect back there. Yes, it is a Zebco. This is a little Zebco Micro 33. It is a two bearing system. It is on a little on a Zebco Fin Commander. Woohoo! I believe this is actually an IM7 graphite composite kind of rod. Got cork handles. It was $24.99, but they had a sign. They had a sign up that said 25% off. So I wound up getting the thing for 18 bucks. Now, these little Zebcos, I've used them a lot. They've proven themselves. They work fine. It has some cage and line on it, which will probably come off of it. But for today, we're going to see what it'll do. I mean, what more could you want? It fits behind the seat of the truck, take it anywhere, and we're fishing. Okay, here's what I'm going to try first. Since the water is cold and we may have to coax them into biting a little bit, we're going to go with something that's got a little bit of a spinner on it and something that looks a lot like a shad or something along that lines with the sparkle through it. Actually, it's an IM6 graphite composite rod. And you notice down the pier that the water is actually coming up on it and through it. Well, let's see how this thing does. It's not bad. She's loosening up each cast. I'm honestly quite happy with the way it casts. I really want to see what it'll do bringing something in. Well, it's a good thing I didn't have the camera on. Because my left knee just called me all kinds of names coming down through here, and you would have heard them. I've changed colors. Baby bass. Now, this water is going up. Because uh, the, the pier is underwater over there now. I think we got one. We actually got one. I've got no drag. Look at that. A little white bass. There you go. A little bass. A little white bass. Thank you for playing along. Thank you for letting me catch you. Oh, that's nice. It fits right behind the seat and you don't even have to take it apart. So there you go. Didn't catch any more fish, but I really I didn't need to catch any more fish because this was really a short video just to prove that that rod and reel does what it's supposed to do, which I don't know who I'm proving it to. I mean, I would say 98 point nine 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 percent of you aren't going to go buy this but <laughs> it fit good behind the seat of the truck and that's what i wanted it for and it was color matching it called out to me it said hey so that's what it did and it did it worked really well to be honest with you it worked really well it casts really far other than me not having the drag set for the fish um which i thought i did but i didn't have it enough it does great it retrieves great it casts well the little rod is a im6 uh, graphite, stainless steel covers, continuous anti-reverse clutch, pre-spooled with four pound line, graphite composite construction, 4.3 to one gear ratio and 90 yards of four pound capacity.
bam, there you go. Two-piece rod, and it actually fits behind the seat of a Toyota without taking it apart. Fin Commander, Zebco Fin Commander. Give one a look, it's not bad. And it one-handed, I mean, it's, it's like not having anything in your hand, to be honest with you. It, it doesn't weigh anything, but it works really well. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.